that is filtering the stored in the receiver and then it is passed to the evaporator through the expansion device. So there are uh, uh, expansion devices like water pot or capillary tubes. And uh, this uh, van reduces the pressure by keeping enthalpy constant. So enthalpy you can say the heat content of the refrigerant constant. And also you guys uh, might have heard in the 11 to 12 somewhere. Sudden expansion results in cooling. Somewhere you might have heard. Similar action is uh, occurred inside this thermal expansion. So this was the, uh, the four basic devices. Now talking about the refrigerants, it is a working fluid of the system. Just like in the blood in our body. Without the blood, we, uh, there is no any body function possible in our body. We might simply not do. Similarly, if there is no refrigerant, the AC or refrigerant, refrigerator is simply useless. So without this, the cooling action, all this process cannot. So commonly there are like ammonia, R11, R12, R20. These types of uh, and modern uh, refrigerants like Theon, 22, and one thing. Uh, these are different types of uh, commercially available refrigerants. So selection of refrigerant might be done based upon its property, what is its boiling point, at what temperature, uh, uh, what pressure is there, how it is expands. These characteristics, uh, characteristics are there. You might study them in thermodynamics in the next semester. So this was about the uh, refrigerants. So now next is the application part. What I want to discuss actually. So, generally, the fridge looks like this in our home. So, before going to the actual uh, description of this device, I would like to ask another question Have you ever touched the external part of your uh, fridge? Yes. So, is it hot, cold, or yeah. hot? Definitely hot. So, uh, you might want to guess why it may be hot, what component may be there. So, metal coils are there that dissipate heat into the air, that is the external environment. Then, that uh, uh, gets into the compressor, increases pressure. Yeah, the, then, uh, due to the heat transfer, it cools down, then goes ahead. Again, goes into the actual uh, cooling compartment where it is required to cool it. Again, the cycle goes on, goes on, goes So, in the household refrigerator, generally, the evaporator coils are made of aluminium or stainless steel. The compressor of uh, reciprocating time. Condensers are generally copper coils are there. And expansion work, as I said earlier, commonly used is capillary. So this was about the refrigerator or fridge, what you might say. So next part is the air conditioning. So air conditioning is pretty much similar to the refrigeration. Same basic four components, skeleton components are there. Condenser, evaporator, compressor, and the expansion device. Same are there. Just uh, there is some variation that I will discuss. So, what is air conditioning basically? It is the simultaneous control of temperature, humidity, and humidity of air. In the refrigerator, we just wanted to cool down. We didn't think about the humidity or humidity. We did not think about that. But in the air conditioning, along with the control of temperature, we also control the humidity or purity of the air. So, for human comfort, it is used in many houses, residences, schools, and commercial So, additional components, same components as I said earlier, they are, there are their four basic components. Just addition is there is blower and fan arrangement to increase the air flow rate. Because uh, if you feel hot, what we do? Just increase the speed of fan. For the same function, for increasing the speed of flow rate of air, there is the blower and fan arrangement. Now, blowers are placed within an evaporator which pulls the air to cooling point and through filter provided on the coil. So basically, to improve the heat transfer between the condenser and environment or the evaporator and the cooling chamber, basically, these are there to increase the heat transfer. Uh, similarly, fans are placed in the condenser, cool down the condenser by force condenser. It pulls the air from the sides and goes on to the condenser. Okay. This is one schematic of the total system. Uh, whatever uh, red is uh, appearing, it indicates the high pressure. Blue indicates uh, uh, it indicates high temperature. Blue indicates uh, low temperature. And this indicates dotted lines indicate the vapor vapor state of the refrigerant. And this the 
continuous thick line indicates the liquid nature of the disinfectant. So starting from the com uh, compartment before, you might consider the space inside your refrigerator. So it gets the full uh, supply of air here. Uh, but the after cooling the space, that is cooling the compartment, it converts into the vapor, which is the cold one, goes ahead into the compressor. As I said, compressor increases the temperature and pressure. If the temperature is in here, you might see. In the condenser, heat rejection takes place. So there is a warm air out. Condenser fan is provided there. After this, the uh, hot uh, vapor is converted into a hot liquid state. And again, to, to the dryer, to the expansion. As I said, sudden expansion results in cooling. Here in the expansion device, there is cooling action device. It is hot here, it is cold. So this is the chain to which the refrigerant goes to provide us the cooling effect period. So this was basically all about the air conditioning and refrigerant refrigeration. Due to lack of time, we can't discuss this uh, in much detail. But uh, definitely in the uh, next semester, that is third semester, we will learn about the various terms of technology related to this in the thermodynamics course. So thank you guys, thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed the session. And uh, just uh, uh, I hope you will. I will see you in the next sessions also. Till then, keep.